Hey, I'm Becky. I moved to the country and built the log cabin of my dreams. And now I enjoy the simple life. This is the life of making things, growing a garden, raising animals, connecting with my community, and making a home. This is Becky's Homestead. This is my new chicken coop and I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to show you. First of all, it's 10 by 40. So that uses 100 foot roll of wire, which makes it very convenient because cutting wire is a pain in the butt. So just so you know the dimensions of the chicken coop. The reason I wanted a bigger coop for one is I have plenty of room on my homestead to build a big one. I had half the material I could recycle from other things around the homestead. And now that everybody knows we have farm fresh eggs, people want to buy them from me. So I figure I can just add a few more chickens to this bigger coop and sell enough dozen eggs so I can pay for the feed for my family's eggs. So it's going to work out nicely. So come on and I'll show you the inside of the coop. Here I recycled the nest boxes from the old coop. I also recycled this little tiny perch, which the function of this little perch is so the hen can jump onto this perch and then up here to the roost because they all like to roost at night. That's, this is where they sleep. So that worked out nicely. As you can see, it's a nice big hut. It's 10 by 10. And what I built was a roosting hut. It's wire on the bottom half. And just the top half is recycled wood and then a tin roof, which I also recycled from the old coop. I hang this feeder. It comes with this little handle. And the reason you hang the feeder, that way ants, specifically here in Florida, ants don't crawl up there and get in your feed. But yet the chickens can easily just reach up there and eat the food out of the feeder. So I hang that from the rafter. Also, my watering pan I got from my old coop, of course. It's still good, it's a rubber one, so that will last forever as well. I like to water my chickens in a pan because they're so funny. Once you get a group of hens, they seem to stay in a group, and if they all come up for a drink, they all gather around the pan to drink. It's so funny and enjoyable to watch. And also the feeder is the same way. So the nice round watering pan and the nice round feeder is really fun for the hens because they'll do the same. They'll all gather around the feeder and eat feed at the same time. They do everything together, including laying their eggs. So if you have quite a few chickens, you probably will need more than one egg box. And the same is when they go to bed at night. They all have their time and they all do that together. So as you can see in this new coop, the roosting hut is only wood on the top half. The wire goes all the way around the perimeter, but this one wall here comes halfway down and then the chickens can just go under here. And then we're out in the yard. And if you can get a long shot of the yard, it's a very, very big yard, which is plenty of room for the hens. It's so big, they're almost free range. So when you build a new coop, you wanna keep your chickens in the new coop for a minimum of two weeks. That way when you open the door and you do let them out to free range, they will come back home at night. If you bring new chickens in, especially adult chickens, and you think you're gonna open the door right away and let them free range, they will end up sleeping in a tree at night. They won't, chances are, at least part of them won't come home and roost in your coop at night. So you do wanna keep them locked up for at least two weeks. Also, I'd like to talk about the wire I purchased. I did purchase this two by four inch welded wire instead of um, real chicken wire. And the reason I like this wire is the full grown hens can't fit through it, but still grasshoppers and crickets and all kinds of bugs and stuff can still get through into this coop and then the chickens will eat them. So, like I said, that's almost free range, as big as the coop is. So, this is it, my new coop, and I'm so happy with it. And my next step will be ordering more hens from the computer. Now, I know not everybody out there has room for a homestead chicken coop this big. 
That's why Scott has designed and built a smaller, lightweight chicken coop. For those of you out there that have a smaller backyard but would still like to have tasty, healthy, farm fresh eggs. And here it is, the perfect lightweight PVC chicken coop. I couldn't be happier with the design of this coop. It has just been fantastic for everything I need it to be. Right now I have my garden ducks in it, which she's hatching her ducklings. That's how happy they are in this little chicken coop. And I'm sure all the urban homesteaders out there who want to try a few chickens for their farm fresh eggs would be just as happy with this little chicken coop. This is much sturdier, it's a smaller size, so it's easier to drag around, and it's just so practical, and it could it could fit in anybody's backyard. You really don't need much room for this coop. So let me explain a little bit about it. As you can see, it's shaped like a tent. It's a triangle. And you can buy all the pieces to build this coop in the hardware store. So all the little fittings and things to do, uh, you can buy in the hardware store. Really, anybody can build it. You don't need very many skills to build this coop. What's nice about it is this big, big door we have on here swings up and you can reach in there and just do anything. It's big enough, believe it or not, you could step in there if you needed to, to do things. Right now I have my ducks in here, my garden ducks because my garden's growing. And they're so happy in here. They just love the little coop. It's plenty of room for them. The mama duck is in the bucket where your chickens would be laying their eggs. And the mama duck is in there and she's sitting on a nest of eggs. So she's gonna be hatching little duckies. I put this piece of plastic over the top of it just so they have some shade and a little protection. It works absolutely perfect. The wind doesn't really blow it off or anything. I guess if you needed to, you could tie it down a bit. But I haven't had to because it doesn't move, it just stays right there. And as you can see from this angle, there's plenty of room in there. The chickens don't need too much height, they need mostly the, the width of it. So the triangle makes it sturdy and it saves room. I just could not be happier with this coop. It is such a wonderful coop, and I think everybody should have a little chicken coop in the yard for a few fresh eggs for the family. If you would like to make this simple, lightweight PVC chicken coop for your backyard hens, we have made a how-to video that shows you how to build this coop step-by-step -step with simple instructions. It's on sale now at Becky'sHomestead.com. Thanks for watching. Please email me with any questions or suggestions. Happy homesteading. Bye bye.